compare this defense this year with last year, you guys, were you guys better? Were you guys worse? You were, you were very good last year, so what do you think? I feel like, um, you know, I was asked this question earlier. I feel like we're right, you know, along the same track. Obviously, there's things that we need to get better on uh, every week. But I feel like we're definitely on the right track. I feel like the coaches have been putting together uh, great game plans to, you know, utilize everybody's skill set. So I feel confident in our defense. Are there things you guys do better this year than last year? Um, yeah, I would probably say, like, disguising stuff. Um, obviously, with, you know, an older group, um, we're able to kind of understand you know, the different pieces and how everything goes together and not just go out there and kind of like tilt our tilt our hat or our hand to the quarterback. Obviously, the difference between winning and losing is pretty, pretty small. Yes, how, do you, how do you get yourself to take that, that next small big step? Uh, I would just say doing all the little things right. Um, you know, throughout the week, whether that be in preparation or taking care of our bodies um, or just, you know, knowing the game plan. Um, obviously, like you said, you know, it's a small margin for error. So just trying to practice on doing everything right, um, no matter what the task is, I feel like that'll help. You believe, you believe you lose, lose win games, uh, midweek rather than on Saturday? Could you repeat that? I couldn't hear you. Do, do you believe that you win or lose games in the middle of the week rather than on Saturday? Yeah, definitely. You have to prepare to win uh, every week, so definitely preparation is important. Oklahoma has some really explosive receivers, obviously really talented offense. You guys were able to hold them. 16 points really limit the big plays. Going up against a team like Texas Tech, that obviously really big time, talented receivers as well. How much can you learn and take away from last week's performance to, to use that going forward this week? Uh, we could take away a lot, you know, at the end of the day. Um, like you said last week, we, we were able to take away the explosive play, uh, which will be just as important this week. Um, you know, that's kind of a credit to our coaching staff and the game plan that they, you know, put in front of us. So I would say just following what they have for us this week and executing it to the best of our ability. Specifically, number 13, your coaches have talked a lot about him for Texas Tech. I don't know how aware you are of him, but is he going to be a main focal part of the game plan as, as a secondary this week? Oh uh, Yeah, definitely. Um, I played against him last year. He's a good player, so definitely would be, you know, a point of emphasis to make sure that we have him under control. A lot of that very tall receivers, tight ends, too. Um, Jordan said that it's not just the height, but the matchups, where they are on the field, just kind of an awareness of where they are before the snap, things like that. Um, is, is it any different as a safety going against a guy who's 6'3", 6 6'4", versus someone who's 5'11", 6'4"? Uh, yeah, like Coach Leslie said, I feel like um, – especially with offenses like where certain players are aligned also helps you kind of get ahead head of schedule on, you know, certain plays that uh, you might be able to expect. So at safety, kind of just knowing, you know, the different menus of play calls of, you know, where, say, 13, like he mentioned, uh, is lined up. What do they like to do when he's in certain spots? Uh, and then other receivers uh, can kind of get you ahead of schedule and able to make plays. So as a six-year guy, I mean, is that something – that has really, you know, continued to develop is like your ability to read uh, offenses and plays before the snap based on tendencies and then like film study and everything during the week. Is that something you just feel like you continue to get better at every year? Yeah, hundred percent. It's something that I tried to um, work on, you know, all throughout the off season and then obviously now carrying into the season. Uh, my growth as far as just getting ahead of schedule and being able to be, you know, a coach on the field and kind of get our guys ahead of schedule on stuff that uh, we should be expecting. How much film do you watch during the week? Have you ever put an hour, minute on it that I put this much um, time in? I don't really put, like, a time limit on it. Um, I know, like, we have probably something that could track that, but for me personally, it's kind of just like a feel. Uh, just try and get film in every day, and, you know, depending on what I'm looking for, um, I might be in there longer than normal, but I never really put, like, a time limit on, like, an hour or two hours, things of that nature. Knowing what to look for is that on film, is that entirely different than when you first came into college? Did you have any understanding of how to really watch film correctly? No, not at all. When I first got into college, I didn't know what I was doing in terms of watching film. So that's something definitely that, um, you know, as I've been able to progress is huge um, and something that I try and, you know, pour into the younger guys too. 
and just get them to look at different things. Um, and these coaches have been a big help with that and helping me learn how to do that. So following with that, what, what, do, you, what do you pick up? What, what little things do you see that, that help you? Um, I mean, can you explain some of the, the details of what you found by watching film? Um, personally, I would say, like, formations. Um, you know, the offense will come out, um, and they kind of, like, tilt their hand to different things that they like to do, um, depending on, you know, where certain players are lined up on the field um, and personnel as well. So whether, you know, the team's coming in with, you know, 11 personnel with one tight end and one running back or 12 personnel, two tight ends, one running back, like, those things, like, they matter, and they are able to transition. Like, I'm able to use that on the field um, and kind of, like, like I said, it gets me ahead of schedule each play just so, you know, I'm not out. Obviously, I'm out there playing, but I'm also thinking at the same time and being able to diagnose, you know, what's going on. Along those lines, on the last drive by Oklahoma, were they doing things that you hadn't seen on film? Uh, no, we had, we had seen, we just didn't execute, to be honest with you. You know, they credit to that team. They came out and executed better than us on that last drive. Uh, obviously, you know, our goal was to stop them, and we weren't able to do that and gave up three points to for them to win. struggling a little bit in the Maryland game. Seems like he's playing with more confidence and does some of that film study when you're able to learn from the mistakes, you know, kind of play a big role in, in his development through this first month? Yeah, definitely. I mean, I would credit DP to just, like, keeping that confidence within himself. I mean, like you said, obviously, um, he came out in the first game and that was, that was really, like, his first action. And then as the seasons went on, he's been able to still play with, um, you know, great confidence. And DP's like a great young player for us, so um, definitely, I know he, you know, he's watching the film with uh, Coach Brown and you know getting better each each and every week. Lonzo, guys like you, Hakeem, and even Deshaun transferring in this year is there kind of like a pipeline grown from Canada to West Virginia now that it's going to be like a <laughs> hotbed here? I hope so. Um, I mean, we definitely have players, you know, north of the border that can play at this level. Um, you know, when I first got to uh, college, obviously I went to UNH first, and, you know, I'm the only Canadian there. So being on a Power 5 team and also having, you know, two Canadians here with me is great, and it kind of, like, gives us all, like, a sense of at home, especially with our families, too, being able to connect with each other, and then even when they come to games, being able to, you know, be familiar with them, too. So it's great. Speaking of the team, coaches have been really high on him. He obviously had a great freshman year and has been off to a great start this year as well. What's it been like for you as a a six-year senior to see a younger guy come in and just really kind of dominate from the start on that D-line. Yeah, uh, just super proud of Akeem. I feel like, um, you know, it's well-deserved. Uh, everything that he's getting, all the accolades, everything, you know, is rightfully so. Uh, he's probably the hardest working player on our defense, to be honest with you. Uh, his effort to the ball every play is unmatched, and, you know, that, that's something that shows up on film each and every game. Jackie Matthews playing multiple positions and he's sort of all over the board. You're a guy who, who has the versatility to do that, but you haven't been asked to do it as much. How difficult is being a spear one play, a, a corner the next and all, what he's doing and then doing it seemingly very well? It's very difficult. Um, I think Jackie deserves a lot of credit for that um, because, like you said, with both positions comes, you know, different roles and responsibilities in each call. And he's having to be intelligent enough to go out there and at one series play a certain position, know those play calls, and then at the next series go out and play a totally different position and know those calls well too, as, as well as like the adjustments to those calls. Like it's not just, you know, hearing the call and knowing what to do, but also when offenses dictate with motion and different things like that, we might get into an adjustment and he has to be, you know, on, on point with that too. So it's a huge credit to Jackie. Thank you guys.